Hey DeCox, thanks for dressing around the home. Today I'm gonna to show you how to simply adjust your ball cock. That's what she said. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help it. All right, let's get down to the toilet. Okay, now I'm talking about the water height is what we're gonna be adjusting in this, okay? So this little tube here, which you can kind of barely see, that's our overflow tube, okay? So the water needs to stay just below the top of that, okay, basically. And as long as this overflow tube is installed right, it's gonna be well below this dimple here and then your uh, flush lever over here too. Okay, because the whole point of this is if this keeps running, the water goes down there and just goes through the flush and not coming up and over onto your floor. So anyways, this little red screw, which just doesn't have to be red, it, whatever color it is on yours, it's just sitting here on a little plunger and most of the time it's gonna be a straight screwdriver. Some of these have enough grip on them where you can still use your fingers. And if you screw it down, screw it righty tighty, it's gonna push more pressure on there, okay? Which is gonna lower your float and then make the water level lower. Um, and then if you unscrew it, it's gonna do just the opposite. It'll raise the float and then raise the water level. Now, for some reason yours is threaded different than mine, then just, just do the opposite, obviously. Some of you might be asking, what about this threaded bar right here? Should we be adjusting that? Well, if this thing was installed properly, that's already been adjusted. Um, and then your fine adjustment is just all that is screw. So this end here at the float should be screwed in tight. It should be snug. And this in here should be screwed in far enough where it's held in place by the screw there. Um, I know some people have bent this bar and other funky things with it, but the bar should be able to like hold still. Like I said, so it's tight here. And this screw is holding it here. You know, it shouldn't be rotating or, or going in or out or anything like that. Uh, now, if yours is all janky and this is all bent and, and it's catching on things, maybe it's just time to replace the entire fill valve altogether. Now, if that's the case, I really suggest the Fluid Master 400A. It's not as clumsy or random as a ball cock. It's a more elegant fill valve for more civilized age. Some of you got that, I think so. Okay, but seriously, video popping up top right of your screen will be how to install the Fluid Master 400A which is a much far superior fill valve than this little thing. Um, I really like it, I've installed hundreds of them, I really have. Anyways, simple adjustment for this. Hopefully this fixes your problem so you don't have to do more stuff. Please take a moment, share this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications because we're always making new content. Check out my website, hundreds of more videos organized really, really well, and there's another video for you to check out. Thanks again.